What's good, Tamers? This is Akira from Lockout Games, bringing you an exciting match between Bihumon on the left and Rise Greymon on the right. So the Bihumon player starts off by hatching a Hopmon and then digivolving into the promo Cinderizamon, then placing a two-drop Bearmon on the field, passing the turn over to Rise Greymon. They're going to start their turn off with hatching a Coromon, going into the Searching Agumon, and then digivolving that into the X Antibody, going into the Greymon with a Security Attack plus one Inheritable. Really strong card, and it's a staple in red at this point, finishing off the turn by throwing down a cool boy. Passing over to the Bihumon player, we see a Strike Drabon come out. Looks like it's going to actually be able to pull out a tie, and it's nice when you can Digivolve on top of something already on the field, getting that searching effect without having to push up a Digimon. Bihumon's going to finish off the turn with a Black Memory Boost, and going into the Rise Greymon player, they play another Searching Agumon. Looks like they were going to be able to grab the Rise Greymon X Antibody. And the second one is going to be a whiff, leaving the Bihumon player at three. They're going to Digivolve into Grizzlymon in the back row. One to Digivolve, so pretty efficient. Looks like they're going to pop the Black Memory Boost going up to four memory right now. And thinking about what they want to play, it looks like they're going to play a tie that's going to memory set them for the rest of the game, so they're not going to be able to get memory lock. Then we see the first swing in with a Strike Dramon. It does hit another 5k, so it is going to go down, but it does get through one of the security, and then we find a Volcanomon being Digivolved in the back row, passing the turn over. We're going to see a swing in with the Agumon, that's going to hit a Mega Dramon, and then a Volcanomon, so two ultimates in the security, but they are down to three now on the Bihemon player side of the field, and then the Rise Greymon X Antibody being Digivolved in the back row. Another Black Memory Boost is being played, looks like it's going to pull a Bearmon from the search right there. Both players have level 5s in the back row right now, so we should be expecting a Mega at some point, and a Toy Agumon is played on the Bihumon player's side of the field right now. But the Rise Greymon player is going to go into the War Greymon X Antibody for 4. That is going to slam over the turn, but now they are going to be able to swing in and do a lot of damage to the security as well as get a lot of memory. So a Grizzlymon is Digivolved into the front. The Black Memory Boost is going to be pop, setting them to 4 right now. They do have some options to extend out this Digimon, and it looks like they're going to go into a Mega Dramon. We might see the Bihumon play, but it is going to be a little bit costly, as the only thing on the Rise Greymon player side of the field is a Cool Boy. That will set Rise Greymon to 3, so it's not a lot of memory, but Bihumon's second ability is not going to go off, as there's only one Tamer on the field. It looks like the Greymon player wants to bring up the X Antibody War Greymon, but right now Bihumon does have Blocker due to the Mega Dramon Inheritable underneath of it, and it is at 13k, and I don't believe that the War Greymon has any DP boosting Inheritables right now. So we are going to see them build in the front row, maybe try and spread out the board a little bit so that they can attack in and get a little bit more security checks without having to go straight into the War Greymon. Maybe they're looking to swing in with an Omnimon instead. But Bihumon does swing in, it is only going to check one. And that's actually going to be really beneficial for the Bihumon player because now it's one more thing that's going to be on the board. So the Bihumon second ability is going to trigger a lot harder. And we do see another Digivolve into another Bihumon. It's going to unsuspend the first one so it is able to attack again. And it's going to leave them with one memory on their turn. So this is one of the really powerful effects that it has. Being able to unsuspend and shape the board as it wants to. It is going to swing in and it is going to be checking three. But the first thing that it hits is going to be an Omnimon. And that... 14k it's not going to be enough to survive so it is going to die and go into the trash from there we see the first Bihumon swing in that's going to take care of an Agumon in security and now with three things on the board just passing turn is going to get rid of that final security and it does have reboot so it's going to restand and have blocker and then the Bearmon is just going to come down to support and apply pressure onto the board right now. So that was a good example of some of the offensive capability that Bihumon has with its effects and being able to check multiple with the Sunarizamon underneath it. We do see an X Antibody Greymon being Digivolved. And right here we do have the memory wrong as the Tai and the Kari would have actually triggered twice. Uh, one for the both players having three security or less. The War Greymon X Antibody is going to swing in. It is going to be blocked by the Bihumon right here and is going to die. Uh, without having any way to boost its DP, it isn't going to be strong enough to get past the blocker. And then we do see a Shine Greymon that's going to get rid of the Bearmon due to having one Tamer. But that's pretty much going to end the game there, and Bihumon is going to take the first game. With the first game complete, let's take a look at game number two. Looks like both players are shuffled up, and we're going to start game number two. So Rise Greymon's going to go ahead and take a Mulligan, maybe not having what they need in their hands. Looks like they do have some rookies, so that's going to be good. And Rise Greymon's going to start off by Digivolving a Coromon into the Searching Agumon, and then a Fireball to draw two cards, only passing two memory, but fixing their hand the way they need it. 
Hopmon is being hatched in the back row, and then the toy Agumon with the reboot inheritable being digivolved in the back, and then just going straight into a Tai Kamiya. So once again, they are not going to be able to be memory locked for the rest of the game. And then we see another Tai Kamiya, but the red version over on the Greymon player side of the field. Toy Agumon gets promoted and did evolve into a Dark Tyrannomon, leaving them with two memory, but it does have Blocker right now, and with the tie, it's going to be boosted on their opponent's turn. So the Greymon player is actually going to push up that Agumon. They had meant to do that, and these are just friendly, so it wasn't too much of a big deal, but it looks like the Bahumon player was still going to go into Metal Greymon either way. That's going to take care of the Agumon, and now they have to hatch a Coromon in the back row going into the starter deck Agumon, the plus 2,000. This will really help out if they manage to get up to their level 6s, and then an Agumon to search. It looks like they have a Rise Greymon, uh, but they're going to take an X Anybody Greymon from that search, bring that out into their hand, so they might already have the line that they want. And then going into the Tai Kamiya and the Kari Kamiya to help get a little bit of extra memory and be able to swing in and reduce the DP of the security checks. Hopmon is hatched in the back row and then digivolves into a Sunarizamon. And then we see a Daigo being played for the first time. This card goes very well with the Baihumon as it's able to give it blocker for the turn. As well as if one of your opponent's Digimon is unsuspended, you can gain a memory. Now, there's not enough on the field for the Baihumon to keep the turn. However, there are two Tamers and a Digimon, so we are going to see that first security go ahead and get trashed. The Agumon on the field gets Digivolved into the X Antibody Greymon, and then the back Agumon is going to be Digivolved into the Security Attack plus one Greymon. It looks like they might be searching. Not sure if they don't have a level five in their hand that they need to complete the stack that they want. Final Zubagon Punch is going to be played on Baihumon. This is going to give it 17k total. It's going to be able to swing in checking two and still be able to reboot and block the next turn as it does now have blocker. So that's just a pretty powerful swing and another tamers being on the board. This is what Baihumon players love to see is extra tamers as it's only going to hurt the Greymon player in the end. Then we see a Kongua that's going to stop any low level Digimon from attacking in and then we are going to get rid of both of the securities and they were both Rise Greymon which looks like it really hurts um, that might be it as right now there is a giant blocker on the Bahumon's player side of the field they still have five security and the Greymon player is stuck at what looks like champions that can't swing in right now until they get over a play cost of seven they do have a decent amount of memory, but that might not be able to be enough to push them over the edge right now. Looks like they're going to just go searching with the Agumon, and they're going to be able to pull an Omnimon. It might be just a little bit too late. It looks like they needed the level 5s, and that's going to be them conceding, giving the game to Baihumon 2-0. So that exchange right there kind of shows why I like to play the deck. It can be very controlling and can be very aggressive. Your opponent has to play around a lot of stuff that they might not be used to playing around, and it definitely punishes them for playing a lot of Tamers or a lot of Digimon, as well as creates a lot of high power blockers that are hard to get around. If you enjoyed the match and want to see how the deck is made, please check out the deck profile video that I have up right now, and please like and subscribe to the channel as it really does help, and I love bringing you guys content. Well, until next time, Tamers, let's get that gate closed.